What do you think of my costume? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Hello, my beautiful bitches. It's your girl, Ginger Fahrenheit here. And tonight is the night. I am going to go see a show at um, Attitudes, which is the um, local gay bar in St. Louis. Um, I am currently painting my nails because I'm that much of a procrastinator or lazy bitch, I guess, because I'm extremely behind. It's like 10 o'clock. The show starts at 11. It takes me 45 minutes to get there. Plus, I have to stop by the ATM on the way to get money so that I can get into the show. So putting my face on tonight was an experience and a half. Like, I don't know if I was just so nervous but everything that could go wrong went wrong. It, it started out really good. Like my eyebrow coverage was the best that it ever had ever been. So I was like super confident that, you know, everything else was just gonna go so great. No. <laughs> After that, it was like from the eyeshadow all the way through to the lips, everything was complicated and much more of a, a trouble than it's been in recent times uh, doing this. So it's been an experience of just trying to like power through. I think it's just because I'm really, really nervous. I just really want people to like not hate me <laughs> when I go to this club. I just, I, I'm one of those people that I just go immediately to the worst case scenario. Look, my hands are like you can't tell, but they're like trembling as I'm trying to do this. I just like almost picture everybody just being like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this person here? Why does she look like that? You know, what the fuck? I don't understand. And I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I think if anything, people are just going to look and be like, that's stupid. And then go about their business if that's the reaction that I'm going to get. But um, like I said, my brain just automatically just goes to like the worst thing. Like people like laughing or like even like violence or something. I don't know. I just, I just hope that it goes well. <laughs> because, you know, I've been doing this about three months and I've never stepped out outside in drag. I thought I stepped outside in drag. Remember that? That was funny. When I went to visit Jinx and I thought that I was in drags. That was that was a joke, really. And you know, that was only a couple months ago. So I've grown a lot just in the, you know, 2 months since that, you know, first time I thought I was in drag. Um so I hope that I've grown enough that I'm not going to make an ass out of myself. I do realize I'm saying that with um, blue garage doors on right now. Um, I cover them with glitter. <laughs> I'm still really, really nervous about the whole thing. I just, I hope I have a good reception. I hope that somebody enjoys what's happening here. <laughs> And um, I'm going to take you with me. Um, I have my other video camera, so I'll see what kind of things I can record of my first time out in drag and give you my thoughts along the way. And yeah, <laughs> so everybody cross your fingers, even though this is happened, has already happened. By the time you see this, it's going to be later, so... <laughs> But I'm going to pretend that you're crossing your fingers for me and wishing me good luck. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Ugh. So nervous. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I got to get a couple more things together. And then I'm going to get in the car and leave my house in drag. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Bye. Well, I'm here. It only took like 
three wrong turns, but I'm here, and this is the part where I get fucking nervous, because I have to walk out there by myself into the public in drag. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just trying to not chicken out right now. Alright, every drag queen that's come before me has done this, so why can't I, right? Right. Just trying to breathe. Okay, the worst they can do is just laugh at me. That's that's the worst they can do, right? Alright, here we go. Okay, so I just watched the show. Um, I did not realize that the last Saturday of the month is apparently um, the burlesque show. <laughs> But there was one drag queen and there was a drag king, so I wasn't a wasted trip completely. I got a lot of compliments on my hair. <laughs> a lot of compliments on my hair. I got one person said I was, looked awesome and one person said I looked beautiful, which I never hear as Jill, so that was pretty amazing. Um, I'm kind of overjoyed a little bit. Um, the only thing is, I just, I still was a little bit shy. I couldn't really, oh, I, I'm not very good at this, am I? <laughs> um, I was a little bit shy, so I just kind of stood in the back. And people did, as they passed me, gave me compliments, which was really nice. Um, but the only one that kind of looked at me, like, a little bit with, like, a side eye or a little bit, um judgment like was the drag queen which kind of troubles me a little bit because I really love and respect pretty much all drag queens um so I hope it was not like I was doing it so wrong that they felt like you know I was offending them or something you know I'm, I'm new okay so um unless I was doing it so well that they got jealous well, let's face it, that's that's a pipe dream. <laughs> but it was good. I, I will do it again when I get the option to. Um, I don't know if I can use a costume party as an excuse every time. Um, I'll have to think of something. All right, now I'm going to go home. I'll do another little thing when I get home, and then I'll put this up on YouTube. Yay! All right, bitches. Mwah! Love you. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I survived my first time out of the house in drags. It was a good experience. Um, I definitely need to be more outgoing when I do this because right, I was really, really shy. I didn't really talk unless somebody complimented me and I said thank you. Um, I think a lot of them were surprised when um, a woman answered. <laughs> I think they were expecting me to be a man, which means I did it right, in my opinion. Yeah. A lot of them loved the hair, which I didn't think the hair was, like, the best thing ever. Like, don't get me wrong, I fucking love the hair for what it is, but it's an $8 wig, and people seem to like it. <laughs> Um, so like I said, it was a burlesque show. Um, I didn't realize that it was going to be a burlesque show. I thought it was going to be a drag show because every other Saturday it's a drag show. But, um, it was good for what it was. Um, I was jealous because a lot of them had boobs and I don't. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really just not fair, honestly, because as a big girl, like, the only thing you have going for you is boobs and ass. And I don't even have boobs. But that's why I'm a drag queen. <laughs> so, yeah, um, like I said on the video in the car, the only one that really kind of gave me a second look was the was the drag queen that was there. And I don't know if it was because she was trying to clock an Adam's apple, like, to, or if she was just like, your outfit is terrible, because I admit my outfit is not great. But like I said, I don't really have a costume budget right now. I don't really have any budget of any kind right now, let's be honest. Um, 
so I don't know if that's what it was, but um, she definitely was giving me like a look like, what the fuck are you doing here, and why do you look like that? Everybody else was like super sweet. It was good. I saw some sights, definitely. Um, there was a man in clown makeup, so he wasn't alone tonight. <laughs> And, um, and I had a good time. Um, I wonder if that burlesque show would be open to me because I am a little bit of a different person. I'm not a drag queen per se. Um, because they did have a drag king, um, and she did, and they did have a lot of trans performers. Um, so, and they did have a drag queen so it's not like they wouldn't be completely opposed to drag but I'm just trying to figure out how to even approach somebody about getting me in there somewhere possibly they don't really seem to have a lot of amateur nights that I've seen in this area the only one that they've had has been on Wednesday nights when I can't go because I have school Unless, you know, it gets to the point where I'm unemployed again, and I could maybe take the day classes and then go at night, but then what the fuck do I tell my parents? And am I able to get ready there? Because if I'm able to get ready there, I could just be like, hey, I have to go do an interpreting gig, and then fucking go do a drag show instead. But the more shows I go to, the more I wish I could get up on that stage. I really, that that's the next step, and that's what I really, really want to do. So, until then, we'll just keep practicing and perfecting what I can perfect. And yay, apparently I passed for drag queen. <laughs> All right. It's now 2 in the morning, so I probably should take this off my face. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have um, a Charlie horse tonight. I can already feel it coming on. I stood in heels for over two hours and then walked the city block to and from my car. So <laughs> I'm probably going to have a rough night ahead of me. But I had a good time. And it just makes me want to keep doing it and do it better and more often. So until I see you again, probably pretty soon. Love you all. Bye.